नमो नमः चैप्टर टू सांख्य योग पाथ ऑफ नॉलेज श्री कृष्ण ट्राइज टू मोटिवेट अर्जुन एंड टेल्स हिम दैट ही शुड नॉट सरेंडर टू द वीकनेस ऑफ द माइंड इफ ही सरेंडर्स टू सच वीकनेस ही विल नॉट अटेंड हेवन बट ऑन द कॉन्टररी इट विल लीड टू हिज डिस्क्रेस अर्जुन टेल्स श्री कृष्णा हाउ कैन ई शूट एरोज एट हिज ओन गुरुज Rather than performing such an act, it would be better to beg. Even if he was to win the battle, he will have to live with the grief of the death of Dhritarashtra's sons. He further says, "I have forgotten my duty," and asks Sri Krishna to lead him on the righteous path. Upon seeing Arjun get emotional about the death of his beloved ones. Shri Krishna enlightens Arjun on four topics soul atma dharma duties karma and senses about soul Shri Krishna tells Arjun there has never been a time when we never existed or will never we will cease to the exist upon death the soul leaves this body and enters into a new body the soul remains unchanged and is indestructible and unimaginable it never takes birth and upon death the soul does not die the soul cannot be pierced through weapons nor can it be burned through fire nor can it be wetted by water and neither can it be dried through air essentially the body is affected by weapons fire water and air but the soul isn't and even if arjun believes that the soul takes birth and dies then also he should not grieve for whatever has taken birth it has to die one day or the other about the dharma shri krishna reminds arjun about his responsibility as a warrior kshatriya and he should fight for dharma religious and moral duty if he does not fight for dharma it will lead to disgrace and people will speak of his infamy great generals who have high, highly esteemed his name and fame will think that he has left battlefield out of fear only thus they will consider his insignificant and if he fights for dharma and loses the battle then he will be blessed with heaven and on winning the battle he will gain the vast kingdom on earth therefore shri krishna reminds arjun get up with determination and fight about the karma shri krishna tells arjun to fight without contemplating about the fruits of his action and that he should not think about happiness or sadness loss or benefit winning or losing when a person walks on such a path he becomes fearless and focused and his intellect does not go haywire people with superficial learning are too engrossed in vedas because they seek for heaven good life fulfillment of senses and attainment of fame but doing so does not build devotion towards god and so he ask arjun to rise above the three gunas satvik rajasik and tamasik mentioned in the vedas shri krishna further adds arjun has the right to perform his actions but he does not have any right on the fruits of the actions never consider yourself the cause of the result of your activities and never be attached to not doing your duty o arjun abandoning all attachment to success and failure perform your duties 
equipoised. When your intelligence has passed out of the dense forest of delusion, you shall become indifferent to all that has been heard and all that is to be heard. When it remains fixed in the trance of self-realization, then you will have attained the divine consciousness. When the action is performed without the thought of success or failure, it is called as yoga. In yoga, it self-liberates one from the cycle of birth and death. Here, Arjun asked Lord Krishna, O Krishna, what are the symptoms of one whose consciousness is merged in transcendence? How he speaks? What is his language? How does he sit and how does he walk? He likes to know about the Sthita Pragna Purush Lakshan. Lord Krishna says, Senses are very powerful. And by constantly thinking about the topics related to senses, one builds desire which further leads to anger. From anger originates attachment. From attachment originates bewilderment. And from bewilderment, intellect is destroyed. Sri Krishna further adds, A person who is devoid of desires has a steady mind, which in turn leads to peace. Like the rivers, even after falling into the sea, do not disturb the sea. That person, free from all desire, free from all affection and pride, attains peace. A devotee who becoming free from the evil habits of sensual enjoyments, represses senses by overcoming mind, puts an end to lust, anger, passion, greed, pride and does not become unsteady, even at the time of the death, only that person can achieve Nirvan Brahma, Purna Paramatma, Purna Brahma. Happiness and sadness originates from the desire of the senses. Krishna further adding, a person who is unaffected by happiness and sadness, who is free of fear and anger, who is devoid of desire and who is devoid of ego, only such a person can attain peace. Upon leaving the body in such a state of yoga, a person can attain the abode of God. Hence, Sri Krishna asked Arjun to gain control over his senses so that his intellect become steady. Thank you, sir and madam, for giving me this opportunity. Jai Shri Krishna.